If you are looking to create candles with rich and vibrant colors, look no further than our One Pour Pear Soy Container Wax. Hi friends, Sam. I'm Maddie, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how we use our premium in-house wax blend and a festive balsam fir fragrance to make a beautiful forest green candle. Although 100% soy wax has lots of applications in the world of candle making, it doesn't always give you the richest color payoff. Both liquid and solid candle dyes have a tendency to turn out pretty pastel in them. I wanted to use our balsam fir fragrance to make a wintry candle today, and to be sure it has a lot of visual impact, I opted for AFI's Premium Pear Soy 6600 Container Blend. This wax comes in a slab, so be sure to chop it up into smaller chunks before melting it down to speed up the process a bit. To fill a mason jar container with a 12 ounce liquid capacity, you need to cut up nine ounces of wax. Remember that wax is less dense than water, so you'll need less than you might think to fill up your containers. Melt the wax down using your preferred method, whether that's a double boiler, microwave, or a melting pot. When the wax reaches about 185 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat source and let the temperature drop about 10 degrees or so before adding in the balsam fruit fragrance. This scent is always a go-to of mine in the winter season. It's robust and it's woodsy, making it a perfect choice for every guy and gal that enjoys the great outdoors. Stir the fragrance in thoroughly and add in a deep green candle dye. You can use dye chips or liquid candle dye like me. When going for a rich color payoff, I found that liquid dyes give me the most consistency. I'm using five drops in total. Continue stirring until the wax is uniformly colored and let it cool before filling your jar. I selected a simple jar for this candle as the color and scent will speak for themselves. Based on the wax we used and the size of the jar, I'm using a six inch CD 12 wick to get a proper burn. When the wax is cooled to 135 to 145 degrees, fill the jar to the top and center the wick using your preferred method. Keep it in a warm room or insulate it while it cools to prevent sinkholes and wet spots. Once it's solid, trim the wick to a fourth of an inch and set it aside to cure one to two weeks before its first burn. And here is our completed balsam fir container candle. The surface of the wax is smooth and even, showing you just how simple it is to use AFI's very own premium waxes. Try them out with our fragrance oils and truly smell the difference the next time you craft a candle. If you'd like more candle making ideas or tutorials on using our fragrances for all kinds of projects, head on over to our channel for hours of content. If you still can't get enough, create a free Fragrance University account at fragranceu.com for courses on candles, soaps, perfumes, and more. Thanks so much for being a dedicated member of the Fragrance Fam. We hope that we'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, consider leaving a like on this video to help support what we do. Bye for now.